Hey everyone. So we have been having so much fun exploring the whole topic of instinct. And um, I'm going to even suggest for me, it's been like exploring the other self. Uh, and let me explain that in the, in the deepest way and kind of exciting, almost um, like teleporting might be exciting. This idea of instinct, perhaps being created in our most original self as instinct has been coming up and coming through in a um, incredible way, almost like non-locality, just this insane um, opportunity to see ourselves as our most coherent, most fully accessible to every possibility self with instinct at the very root of it all. So I'm gonna give you an example. Um, recently, in my kind of daily uh, morning bike ride activity, I have been passing by on my route this really incredible soul of being, a, a person who um, lives kind of, I'm not gonna use the word homeless because she doesn't feel or exude what we might um, stereotype as a homeless person. She has a very particular location. It's outside, um, very close to the uh, mountain uh, range edge in the most beautiful setting on this um, water kind of way. And she is quite well equipped with everything. And when I pass her by, Usually it's early-ish in the morning. She's up and alert and putting her makeup on and getting ready for her day. And even in the most extreme times where uh, we've had, you know, just a huge rain, pelting rain, uh, I have driven by to see her fully tarped and tented, and it's just her. So long story short, she's become part of... Um, I'm going to say she's become indirectly, directly a friend. And we exchange hellos just in a, a sort of drive-by, bicycle-by capacity. And I just have named her my friend Beauty. And when I ride by, I say, good morning, Beauty. And she says, good morning. And we kind of have expected um, to see each other often, uh, several days a week whenever I'm not traveling. And occasionally you know, I'll share something fabulous that, you know, I have in my home that I'm not using and just, you know, drop it off and so on and so forth. So anyway, beauty is a, a friend. And about a month ago, I was back home and um, first morning ride. And I rode past this space and place and there was no sign of her. And I thought, okay, well, this is the first time in a very extended period of time that she's not there. And again, it was early morning. And a couple of days have gone by and the same, she was not there. And a sadness, a huge sadness came over me, almost uh, like I had lost or a very close dear friend had moved away. And I remember thinking to myself, just given the nature of how she was living, how beauty lived, that perhaps there could have been an incident or a situation or a relocation, a public relocation of sorts. And I've just found the water coming down, tears just, again, just as if a missing friend had left my life. And on the morning where that was most apparent for me. Something about that morning ride changed and it was as if I was not directing my bicycle any longer. It was so apparent that a larger aspect of me was riding the bicycle. And I'm not going to say it was a wormhole, but it was as if I had slid through this very multidimensional sort of perception of myself. I was fully coherent and yet I was routing down streets and 
um, past locations that were not part of my traditional morning ride. And I was aware that they were sort of new locations, but beauty wasn't even on my mind. And as I was riding back home, there was even this desire, which I'm going to say very new for me, to stop. Somebody was having this little yard sale on my path home, and I, I stopped, and I got off the bike, and I looked at a few things, and then I got on my bike, and within about 200 feet heading back on my route home, I glanced to my left, up the street, and I saw beauty pushing a cart that was contained all of her things and I stopped in my tracks thinking to myself I'm completely not making the decisions of anything about what I'm perceiving this morning something greater than me something so aware of this day, this morning ride was and had overcome me. And it was instinctual. It was beyond any thought. And I knew it was her. And I called her name out. I said, you know, beauty, is that you? Where have you been? And I heard the echo of my voice just exhilarated and at the same time overwhelmed. And she saw me and sort of began to wave. And as I approached closer, I said, you know, I, I've been riding by on these mornings. And, and she just sort of cut me off and said, yeah, well, I'm actually just heading back to that spot now. And I've been somewhere else. Uh, but this morning, something just said, hey, I'm going to go ahead and go back over to that location. And we didn't say a lot more. I, I just was so overwhelmed in gratitude that she was well and fine and we were reconnecting. I didn't say to her, you know, how long are you going to be there or are you going to stay there? I, there was no inquiry. It was as if my innate, that which is all of me, the complete most... Um, developed aspect of me had orchestrated and coordinated this reunion so that my thinking mind would be an awareness that everything about where beauty was or what was happening with her was absolutely fine. Something greater than me, my instinct, me as instinct, was resolving this loss and architecting a new known for me and the gratitude was beyond measure again we didn't have an extended conversation other than just it was so good to see her and i said goodbye and continued home on my path with the water streaming i, I it was a beyond a crying out of joy and happiness. It was larger than me, I'm going to say, constructing a feeling. It was not a feeling. It was beyond feeling. It was more than a feeling or an emotion or a thought. It was the biggest part of me that existed as me. And it took me so authentically that I became fully aware of this self, this greater self, this more comprehensive self that I am, and was in deep recognition and curiosity at the same time of how and in what way I was going to begin to be able to foster and continue to evolve me as just pure, undiluted instinct that would guide and um, inform so much more than I could find through uh, intuition or uh, the, the sort of 
thinking memory of my mind, even my meditation, because I can tell you on the days that had gone by where I was really at a loss of where she might be, I did meditate on kind of what was I missing or where in the multiverse might she be. I, I had a strong yearning to know, um, was she gone and gone forever? And there was nothing about the meditation that conclusively gave me any certainty whatsoever. But that morning ride where we were reconnected, where we were reunited, it was absolutely an undiluted other self, a more greater instinct self that knew in a very waking state, very active waking state, where to go, what to do, and how we would be united so that the certainty of our mutual well-being uh, was something we could be in awareness of. So this incredible moment um, has led me to want to look more deeply into the nature of were we created as instinct itself? Have we become so removed from the architecture of how we are connected and created that maybe we could say we are simply an embodied instinct, that which God, love, the universe created us as, but as we um, interact with the outer atmosphere or the physical world, we learn to cultivate in the mind that separation and ego and awareness of this sort of distinct separate self. Yet it doesn't and didn't mean, and I am now in full certainty, that that absolute, not relative self, but that absolute self connected to everything and everyone actually reigns larger and more apparent than the um, knowing self. It's even beyond a state of knowingness, I'm going to say, because knowingness even requires a little bit of thought. This was my greatest growth and um, I'm going to say most exciting little breadcrumb trail that I've been uh, just ruminating around. Um, we did take a piece of this with us to Costa Rica to work with our students there. I framed it around the idea of my inner and outer atmosphere, the inner atmosphere really defining itself as pure instinct, um, imbued with the energy, light, and information of the frequencies. And so anyway, this is my story of instinct. Uh, it's, it's been palpable. And um, I have been able to access this reunion, this reconnection with beauty uh, over the course of all of these days and weeks since this happened. And uh, it's created just endless curiosity in me. And anyway, that is how instinct is showing up as my uh, most expanded self. Okay, hope, uh, hope that was interesting. It was fun for me to share it. And uh, we'll see where this conversation goes.